Hello again, everybody. To measure a bulb, let's say a halogen bulb, you clip the leads on the tabs. There are two tabs inside. Doesn't matter which polarity. This is ohms. I put the meter on ohms over here. This is ohms, this symbol. And as you see over here, this symbol is ohms. It's on automatic. That means it'll automatic find the decimal places that's correct. So I'm measuring over here 0 0.2, 0 0.3, which is very good. So I know the filament inside this bulb is intact. I cannot just look at a bulb and see if, the, if, it's, been, if, if it's been burned out. So I can attach the black here, the red here, or vice versa. It does not really matter. The no pol polarity is not an issue over here. Now, you have to pay attention to the bulbs. Bulbs have the ratings of a voltage ratings, and also they have a watts rating, the power. Power is in watts. This one is 12 volts, which is obvious for the, uh, for the battery of the car, but also 55 watts. There is a formula to figure out how much current that bulb can take. And not to get too uh, specific, but voltage E e times current equal the watts. When I figure it out, this can take about four amps. Now, <clears throat> there's another bulb that could take about two amps. So you have to pay attention to the wadding. 55 watts, 26 watts, the lower the watts, the less the current it can take. Now, when I look at the circuit for these bulbs, I see that the fuse was around five amps which means this is good because it could take about four amps. So I always pay attention to the watts on the package, okay? That's one. Number two, I discussed yesterday, <clears throat> I discussed yesterday or the video before. <clears throat> As you see, there's two filaments here. When you look at this one, this is a filament, this is a filament. How many leads? One, if you can see them, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, four leads. Now, two leads are here for one filament, and if you flip it over, the other two leads are for the other one. So you have one filament up here, the big one, and you have another filament over here. The, these two go to the inside. These two go to the outside. What do I mean by that, as I showed before? You see, hopefully you can see it, there are four tabs two on the inside two on the outside how do you know you look at it and hard to get an angle on it but anyway one up here on the top left that you're looking at is connected to the right and I'm trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time. So this left one that you see up here, the left one on the top is connected to this one on the bottom right. The other one, which is the outer one, which is the top right, is connected to, <clears throat> excuse me, connected to the left bottom, which is this one. If you're not sure, <clears throat> let's say I'm not sure, what do I do? I take one lead of the meter, doesn't matter which one, uh, black or red, I put one over here. I know I should measure a filament, I should measure low ohms, like I'm doing over here. I take one probe over here, leave it over here, and I go around with respect to that one to every other lead or pin and see where I have continuity. Out of the four, I should have continuity between two any two. So therefore, if I leave the lead here <clears throat> and I go around and I measure over here, I don't measure continuity, it's burnt now. It's open, it's open filament. If I go over here <clears throat> and I measure over here and then I go on the bottom and I measure between that point and this point filament, that means the other two are the other filament. <clears throat> so in other words, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me so if i measure if i put let's say my lead over here like i did in a video and i will not measure across here because you do not measure the same filament across each other it's on the other side so i go here as so i leave my lead over here now i try that one and i go either this way or this way if i go over that one and i measure between here and here 
That means that's the same filament. And I should have continuity. That means the other two that are left are the other filament. Again, if I put my lead anywhere, here or there, and I poke around the other three pins, I don't have any continuity, that means it's burned out. Don't even waste your time. <clears throat> now, some bulbs are easy to get to. Some, some bulbs are not easy to get to. Look at this filament over here. You see, this is, the top fil this is the top filament. This is the bottom filament. Again, <clears throat> four, four pins coming out. This one is a little hard to get to. This one, and I'll show you the, the, the probe that I'm using to snap onto it. This one I can snap onto it. This is a little more tricky to snap onto it. And that what I mean by that is, let me take this out. You see this? This is the one that I use. This is the one that I use. You see how you clip it on? You can clip it on. It's a little hard with this phone, but when I need to, I clip it on this. But to clip it onto this is a little, little difficult. So therefore, if I would leave my lead here, I would take the other lead, measure over here with respect to that. If I, but obviously it wouldn't be from here to here. It would be from here to the other side, to one of these where I measure continuity. The other two that are left are the other filament. Now, regardless of, <clears throat> and regardless of how, uh, how many pins you have, and, I was, and I, someone sent me a message, yes, if you have three pins, one is common. So if one is common, I leave the lead here to the common, and then I, I measure the other ones with respect to the common. You should still measure less than 10 ohms. You should still measure a low ohms. Anything, kilo ohms, whatever, it's open. Don't waste your time. So anyway, I hope this helped. And remember, pay attention to the watts. The watts, the higher the watts, the more the current. The lower the watts, the lower the current allowed. So sometimes you have one bulb, which I had one time, was burning out for a customer. Wrong watts. Instead of, of four watts, which the circuit needed, only two watts. And that's because the wattage was 26 watts instead of 55 watts. But... You have to pay attention to things like that. Anyway, the meter, as you can see over here, is by CE, Commercial Electric, I believe it's called. And I haven't seen it so around on, on the internet or anything like that. But get yourself something like this. This is the best value out there. Anyway, thanks for watching.